Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss about some of the Azure Data Factory interview question, which is generally asked in an interview. Okay, so I have listed and some of the question which you have to prepare very well when whenever you are going for any interview. Okay, so let us discuss about this. So first question is like describe the use of Azure Data Factory in your project. Okay, so whenever you will go for any interview, the first question they ask is about your project. Okay, so you have to prepare this question very well because based on this question only they will get to know whether you have a proper experience in this particular field or not. So you have to prepare this very well. Okay, whenever you are explaining, you have to to explain from an end to end about your project what was the requirement what was your source what was your destination and all okay so you have to prepare this question very well because and based on your answer only the next question will come okay so if you are mentioning any of the etl pipeline okay so they will ask about the source with they will ask about the connection they will ask about the destination so related question also you have to prepare okay and uh, they will ask about the data pipeline they will ask about the failure scenario they will ask about what actually the problem you face so you have to prepare this all the question very well okay you can take an example of the while explaining you can take example on any of the etl pipeline what are the different activity you have used whether you have used the get metadata you have used the lookup activity store procedure what was actually your scenario and how actually you have achieved it and this was your source this was your destination everything you had to explain them you can take example of any migration activity whether where actually you had to migrate data from uh, one cloud to another cloud from uh, on prem to another cloud okay that kind of the scenario also you can take okay so uh, you had to prepare this question very well okay now let us discuss about the second question that is the scenario based question that is the scenario based question okay so we have a table okay consider you have a hundred files hundred files in a storage account and you want to load uh, and you want to load into the sql table you want to load into the sql table what will be your approach what will be your approach okay for taking example this is my azure storage account here i have a hundred files okay now i want to load into a sql table i want to uh, load into the sql table i want to load into the sql table what will be my approach what will be i approach okay so some people can say they will create a hundred pipeline for that to to load the data but that is a not a proper approach in a single pipeline only you have to make it your pipeline like that they will ha they will be having to handle 100 files and they will able to copy your data how actually you can achieve this okay so that is a one scenario so how actually you can answer this this kind of question so what actually you can take you can take a get metadata activity <coughs> get metadata activity okay you can take all the file list all the file name details you will get from the get metadata activity okay after that you can pass this into for each under this for each what actually we will do under this for each we will apply a copy activity okay from get metadata activity you will get all the files name that file detail actually we will pass into a uh, for each activity under this for each activity we will perform a copy activity under this for, for each activity we will perform a copy activity copy activity okay so that is how actually we can achieve it okay and that is the one scenario okay so you have to explain in a such a way that okay now let us see about the second question which they are asking okay now consider you have a hundred sql table and you want to load into the storage account how actually you can do that how actually you can do that okay so this is a different scenario in previous scenario we had a hundred files now here you have a hundred tables okay the one thing you can do the you can do a same approach okay what is the another approach you can perform okay what is the another approach you can perform so what actually we can do we can take a lookup table okay in a lookup table we will write one store procedure we will write a one store procedure in a lookup itself we, we can pass any kind of the query right so we will pass one store procedure in this store procedure we will list all the hundred tables and then that hundred table we will pass into the uh, for each activity and we will perform a copy activity okay so that is another approach okay that actually you have to explain them 
okay in a lookup itself uh, we can pass the store procedure and in store procedure uh, there are some command where actually you will get to know all the uh, table list table names so that actually you have to do that and after that you can pass into the destination uh, like with the forward loop uh, you can loop all the table and you can perform a copy activity okay now the next question is like uh, how do you test your adf pipeline how do you test your adf pipeline okay so this kind of the question generally they ask this this is simple only but they ask like whether you have a proper answer for that or not how do you test your adf pipeline so whenever you are creating any kind of the pipeline right so the first thing is like you have to you have to test it okay before deployment you have to test it whether each and everything is working fine or not whether your link service is working fine whether your data set is working fine or not okay now once you will make sure this all the thing then only you will do a test right how actually you can perform a test okay so generally we do a test by using a debug option by using a debug option we don't use a trigger we don't use directly trigger option to trigger a pipeline what actually we do with the help of the debug option we have through debug option we actually try to debug if any kind of the failure is happening and on and we try to debug and then only we'll try to uh, publish and we'll try to schedule it okay so make sure you know about this and uh, whenever they ask you can explain them okay now the next question is like how to handle duplicate rows in a data flow okay how, how to handle duplicate rows in a uh, data flow okay so this kind of the question generally they ask so how actually we can answer them in a data flow if you want to handle a duplicate rows right so we can use a aggregate function we can use a aggregate function in this aggregate function we can pass a in this aggregate function we can pass a uh, some kind of the expression expression we can pass and we can handle the uh, we can handle the uh, uh, duplicate rows here okay so you have to remember this how actually you can handle the duplicate rows and how actually you can handle the different kind of the uh, like the derived column expressions and all right so make sure you remember about the expression because with the help of the expression you can achieve anything okay suppose you have to make sure you have to add it like the in upper case lower case so we have a expression we actually will pass any kind of the expression we can achieve it okay so now the next question is what are the arm arm template what is the arm template okay what is the arm template so this is generally whenever you we create a pipeline suppose this is the pipeline we created right so suppose we are creating one uh, pipeline this is our source Uh, this is our copy activity and this is our destination this is our destination so whenever we are creating this pipeline whenever we are creating this pipeline which is able to transfer data one source to another source or any kind of the activity we through a adf okay so at last it gets stored in the form of the json at last it gets stored in the form of the json okay in the form of the json you will get to see in a azure data factory on the right side on the top you will get to see one uh, json symbol if you will click the that actually code uh, code got converted into a json format okay so whenever where actually we use this arm template where actually we use in arm template so suppose you are doing a poc suppose th th this you are doing a poc in a qa environment in a qa environment we are doing a Q uh, poc right poc means the testing okay now if you have to develop uh, this into a production okay so you are not going to do it from a starting from in a production environment so what actually we do with the help of this json arm template which we call as a arm template with the help of the json arm template we try to schedule a ci cd pipeline ci cd pipeline and this ci cd pipeline will be able to handle this all okay so there actually we use the arm template is nothing but a json format whatever the activity we do that get converted in a json format that we call it as arm template and this generally we use for the ci cd pipeline where actually we try to uh, do it okay where we actually try to uh, migrate like from a qa to the production environment okay i hope you got idea if you want me to explain from uh, how in a real time we can achieve this all the scenario okay i will make a separate video for that please do comment for that okay